Ukraine says its forces have pushed deeper into Russia, gaining control of more than 1,000 kilometers of Russian territory and prompting a new threat from Vladimir Putin, who is vowing to retaliate after the surprise incursion. Here's CTV's Michael Couture. Progress made by Ukrainian troops is plastered online. Soldiers ripping down Russian flags in the Kursk region and replacing them with Ukrainian ones. In his nightly address, President Vladimir Zelensky had a stern warning for the Russian president. Russia brought war to others, and now it's coming home, Zelensky said. Ukrainian troops control 1,000 square kilometers of the Russian region bordering Ukraine. Forced to evacuate the region, Russian civilians are bused to Bielgrad. Ukraine's incursion caught Russia off guard, with much of their military still occupying the Donetsk region. The new offensive has the backing of U.S. lawmakers. Keep it up. Putin started this. Kick his ass. Now the Kremlin is spinning it differently, calling Ukraine's move a provocation. The West is fighting us with the hands of Ukrainians, President Vladimir Putin told his top officials, claiming it's a way to improve Ukraine's negotiating position. And some think that could be Ukraine's ultimate goal. The public in Ukraine wants peace, but is dead set against territorial concessions to Russia. So taking Russian land gives it something to trade away. And there could be another motive as the war nears the two and a half year mark. I think it's really something that Zelensky thought of from a strategic move to keep the war in the minds of the West and to uh, show the people of his own country that he can do something uh, damaging to the Russians. As Ukraine starts to take Russian territory, the U.S. is deeply concerned by reports that Iran is planning to deliver hundreds of ballistic missiles to Russia. A State Department official says that type of move would represent a dramatic escalation, Omar. All right, Mike, thank you.